and welcome back to your 30 days of yoga. Today we're going to go over a pose called Wild Thing, which is a lovely heart opener, slight back bend, and sort of a prep for full wheel pose, which we'll come to a little later in the 30 days. So we're going to start in our downward facing dog. Spread the fingertips wide. We haven't been here in a couple of days. So just to come back all the way in, sending the weight to the back of your mat, to the heels, heart is shining down. You can have a little bend in the knees. Maybe just take a few moments to get back into the space. Shoulders are really rolling down the spine. Find space here. Take a breath, inhale, and a long exhale. Start to draw your right leg all the way up towards the ceiling. Now, rather than keeping the hip bones level, as we have done before, a full invitation to start to stack the hips on top of each other. So right hip is stacking onto the left. Now bend the knee and draw the heel towards the bun. Keep pressing evenly into both hands, drawing your heart back towards your left thigh. Point your toe and just start to take a few circles all the way into the right hip. Roll, rolling the knee all the way as if you're painting circles with the right knee. And then take your circles the other way. Just find a little bit of space into the hip. Now on your inhale, send the leg all the way back up, come to your three-legged dog, and just think about where we might be going. So bending the knee, drawing the heel to the bum, stack the knee once more, and then start to really slowly, and then start to really slowly, start to draw the foot all the way over the left leg, landing the ball of the right foot, coming onto the outside edge of the left foot and pressing your left hand into the mat. On an inhale, start to lift your right arm all the way up towards the ceiling, rolling the right shoulder all the way over. Find this reaching. So you're staying on the ball of the right foot on the outside edge of the left foot. There is energy through the chest. Hips are lifting, bum is squeezing. Take another breath, inhale. As you exhale, right hand swivels all the way back, lands back in your downward facing dog, and you're just gonna step the right foot back to your down dog. And just lower the knees, draw the heart towards the thighs, just take a quick little child's pose, rebalancing the body, just coming back to your space, take an inhale. And on your exhale, pad your hands back into the mat. We're gonna take it back to our downward facing dog hips all the way up and back. Start to lift your left leg now high towards the ceiling, three-legged dog. Bend the knee, draw the heel to the bum, stack and open the hip. So left hip on top of right hip. Both hands are pressing equally into the mat and the heart is shining towards the right leg. From here, just start to make your circles again through the left knee this time. Acknowledging maybe if one hip is a little tighter than the other. Take your circles the other way. And then draw the heel towards the bum. We're gonna to start to step the left foot all the way over the right. So gently guiding the left foot all the way down. Land the ball of the left foot. Come onto the outside edge of the right foot. Press your right hand into the mat. As you inhale, peel up through the left arm. Roll the left shoulder and really reach the heart, the chest towards the ceiling. Find this energy lifting all the way up, out of your foundations, out of your feet, out of your right hand. Take one more breath, inhale. Exhale, left hand comes down. Left leg swivels all the way back round. Come to your downward facing dog, heart towards the thighs. And on your exhale, gently send the knees to the mat. Bum to the heels. Come to your child's pose. We'll bring the arms all the way down by your sides now. Forehead to the mat. And just gently rock left and right on the forehead. Just coming back to the breath. And on your next inhale, hands come forward, roll the shoulders, lift all the way up, back to your seat. So that is wild thing. It is wild, it is very lovely and open, but as long as you've got that energy out of the feet and really out of the supporting hand, you can broaden the chest and just really own that space. So have a play with that and I'll see you back on the mat for more tomorrow.